tutorial uh, will be covering Rainbow Six Siege, the control panel, as well as the in game settings. This tutorial will be performed on a 980 Ti, so if you have a less than a model of an NVIDIA graphics card, uh, we'll be giving a couple tips for those users as well. Um, I know a lot of people have been running into the texture uh, quality issue where the texture seemed to be uh, a little bit blurry. But it's some adjustments you can make that I'm going to show you real quick. So let's get it going. First we're going to open up the NVIDIA control panel. Alright, you're going to want to go to your Rainbow Six Siege. You can leave every single thing the same in this one, but you're going to want to change a couple. The multi display mix GPU acceleration. If you're using one monitor, you want to set that to single display performance mode. Power management mode, of course, you want to prefer maximum. Texture filtering, you can turn that off. Texture filtering negative LOD, you can clamp that. Texture filtering quality, high quality. Texture filtering trilinear optimization, you can turn that off. All right, and that's what you need to do in the NVIDIA control panel right here. If you have a less than 980 Ti version, you are not going to want to change texture filtering quality to high quality. You will want to leave texture filtering quality at quality, it's default. All right, now after you finish your NVIDIA control panel settings, you're going to want to open up the game and this is where things get crazy. All right, this is this is the problem that I believe a lot of people have in with their Rainbow Six Siege. I don't know if any of the developers will see this video, but if they are, they may want to look into this. All right, let's get that game up. Okay, now. Bear in mind that this tutorial is mainly angled towards the people using the Ultra Texture HD pack that just came out. Um, you know, I hear a lot of people saying that their computer blowing it away in performance and, and, you know, along those lines. So you may want to double check your settings because I don't believe uh, it's clear exactly how to run this game at its maximum settings. But I'm about to show you. Let's get that loaded up. Now for this particular game, you do have a benchmark tool. The benchmark tool is your friend. It will assure you that you have the best possible performance as well as frame rate and visual fidelity. Okay, so you're going to want to go into your options, your graphics setting. If you're running a 980 Ti and you got the 6 megabytes available, you know what I mean, Oops, 6 gigabytes available, <laughs> then you could get away with this exact setup. You can set your texture quality to the ultra setting, your texture filtering to the 16x, your LOD quality to the ultra, shading quality to high, shadow quality to very high reflection quality to high ambient occlusion now this is important I see a lot of people making this mistake and believing that SSBC is better it is not if you're using an Nvidia graphics card you're gonna want to go HBAO plus it's, it's, it look way better the textures will be less blurred and distorted like a lot of people seeing the default is actually SSBC where HBOA plus will definitely make a way bigger difference than you're going to see with SSBC. So get ready for that to make a pretty big difference in your performance. Lens effects, you can max that out. Depth of field, you can turn that on. Post-process anti-aliasing. Now this is another one that a lot of people are making a mistake in believing that TAA is better. Uh, now, if you have 
a lower performing graphics card. If you're having a lot of problems, you know, your frame rate extremely low, then yeah, you might want to use TAA. TAA is basically a, a kind of a soft processor for the graphics and it shows when you first run your benchmark I'm gonna show you a particular area to focus on while you're running this uh, I myself chose 4x for MSA anti-aliasing um, and the reason for this is because at 4x it don't have as much of a, a shine to the to the outline and the characters alright so different people may want to go 8x some may want to go 4x but 4x I believe look the best especially if you're running at 1080p if you're running at 4k you may not even need MSAA at but about two so here we go with the benchmark it's a couple more odd things that I mentioned after this but I just want to show what will happen if you run this the way I have it set right now now if you notice I'm running a 980 Ti and even my frame rate is um, pretty all over the place but for some reason if you turn on vertical sync at this point vertical sync will drop your frame rate from 60 to 30 even though it's showing that the video card itself can handle the frame rate that's being demanded so the people who use a vertical vertical sync in this game and you having problems you might want to try turning off vertical sync and running it you will have you know a little bit of hiccup with the display but I am almost certain you'll notice a huge performance increase based off of the vertical sync I believe it's some kind of issue in the vertical sync right now I'm not a hundred percent on that but that's what it would appear to be okay now this is where things get trippy with the exact same settings, okay, just by turning on vertical sync, just by turning on vertical sync, we're going to rerun the same benchmark with the exact same settings. As you notice, it start off pretty strong, you know, you, you, it look like everything's going to be the same. And then you bend this first corner, and for some reason, something go wrong in the vertical sync. It's like you can kind of lose the sync, and this is what end up happening. You end up in the 28s, the 30s, uh, even your averages and your current overall scores are changed by the end of this test. Alright, so, you know, I'm going to let it run all the way out so you can see the result. Alright, as you can see you got some pretty pretty low dips here, 28, 29, 50, 52. So uh yeah, you're gonna wanna definitely probably shut off V Sync for change. Um and yeah, that should I mean that should pretty much sum it up. Like I said, if you got a less than performance graphics card than this, I would recommend you start with the auto detect and after the auto detect test your computer on HBAO plus. Uh, that's probably going to be one of the more important settings to change and the post-process anti-aliasing I don't think you nobody gonna need that at all if you run it below I said about a 7.6 gear below and maybe you should consider TAA or FXAA depending on which one is more visually appealing to your eye but uh, overall these settings will provide you with the greatest quality in the game so uh, this one of the rare cases where ultra doesn't necessarily consist of every setting being turned on so now that you know what to turn on and turn off you know get to it give it a test see how you like it and give it the thumbs up if it helped you out give it the thumbs down if you feel like giving it the thumbs down and I'll see you around on the next one uh, stream live on twitch if you want to come hang out check out ask some questions get some tips we there for you alright y'all have a great